Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus test. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Unlike last year when it launched the Galaxy Tab S6 and its watered-down version in the form of the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, Samsung has simply launched two different models of its new tablet, the Galaxy Tab S7 and Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. For all intents and purposes, the Galaxy Tab S7 is the light variant, even though it doesn't carry that branding. Look no further than the fact that it has an LCD display. What we and many customers are more interested in is the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, the true flagship tablet, and perhaps the only contender for the title of the best Android tablet of 2020. Excellent. That's really all you need to know about the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus S design. It feels every bit as premium as you'd expect a flagship tablet courtesy of its full metal build. We particularly like the brushed metal sides that contribute to its stunning appeal. The no-nonsense design that Samsung has adopted for its high-end tablet few years has been further refined. Everything from the buttons to the speakers and ports feels that they belong exactly where they have been placed. Let's not forget that this is the largest tablet Samsung has made for its flagship series. The actual footprint of the device has increased significantly to accommodate its 12.4-inch display that dominates the front. It's larger and wider than the Galaxy Tab S6, but at 5.7mm, it's as impressively slim as its predecessor. It has put on some weight, coming in at 575 grams. For the sake of comparison, it's both thinner and lighter than the iPad Pro, notwithstanding the fact that it has a 12.9-inch display. The larger footprint does take some getting used to, and the larger display certainly makes up for it. One-handed usage doesn't feel uncomfortable even after several hours. The build quality is solid, and its new mystic silver and bronze colors suit it really well. We do believe that this is one of the most beautiful tablets Samsung has ever made. Samsung ships the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus with a matching S Pen that attaches magnetically to a groove at the back. Part now extends all the way up to the vertically aligned dual camera that protrudes only slightly. This does mean that the tablet doesn't lie completely flat on the tablet, but it's not something we were too bothered by on the Galaxy Tab S6 as well. It would be nice if Samsung considers shifting the S Pen to the top or side frame on future models, though. We do feel that the magnets that hold the S Pen in place are stronger this time around. So there's less chance of accidentally detaching the stylus when sliding the tablet into your backpack or switching orientations. I think we've all gone past the point of expecting a 3.5mm headphone jack on new flagship products, but in case you were wondering, the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus doesn't have one. Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Display and Sound. The 12.4-inch Super AMOLED 2800 by 1752 pixel resolution display is exceptional. It's difficult to find fault with Samsung's OLED panels because they're just that good. The familiar 16:10 aspect ratio has been maintained which makes for a great media consumption experience. Colors are bright and vivid with rich detail and viewing angles. The panel gets very bright, and Samsung has assured comfort by ensuring that the panel emits the lowest blue light on a tablet display. A fingerprint sensor is embedded within the panel and it works very well. We're all for the larger display. Bumping up a size is what we have long wished for Samsung to do. The 12.4-inch size is perfect for watching your favorite movies and also for getting work done. That's not all, though. Samsung has also bumped the refresh rate to 120Hz. We've sung praises of the higher refresh rate previously. It really is difficult to go back to 60 Hz once you become used to 120 Hz. Everything looks so nice and smooth. The animations feel buttery fast-paced games look great, and even scrolling through social media is a delight. Samsung has trimmed the bezels, but the tablet isn't quite as bezel-less as we've come to expect from smartphones. Hopefully, its Infinity O tech will make its way to tablets as well. That would make the immersive experience even better. The familiar AKG tuned quad speakers are present with Dolby Atmos support. The new 1.6 better than those on the Galaxy Tab S6. The bass is punchy, sound is clear and volume sufficiently high. This means that the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus comes with Qualcomm's revamped Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. The base model has 6GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage, exactly the same as the Galaxy Tab S6. A Micros card slot is also present. Those willing to shell out a bit more can get the 8GB plus 256GB configuration. This is a powerhouse of a tablet. The chipset is more than capable of handling whatever you throw at it. It doesn't buckle under the weight of resource-intensive games, rapid app switching, multitasking or running multiple windows and decks. 
the interface feels blazing fast, aided by that 120Hz refresh rate, while the Adreno 650 GPU ensures that you can play your favorite mobile games at the highest possible graphic settings. A 5G variant of the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is also on offer. This will allow users in markets where 5G networks are available to access the next-gen network standard for work and play. This really makes the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus a well-rounded tablet for perfect working setup. Nobody really uses tablets for photography, but Samsung has slapped a dual camera setup to its latest tablet anyway. The 13-megapixel primary camera with a 5-megapixel ultra-wide sensor is nothing to write home about. It's actually the same as the Galaxy Tab S6. You can get respectable detail in shots, and color reproduction is generally okay. Ultra-wide shots aren't as crisp as you'd like, and low-light performance leaves a lot to be desired. Samsung has brought over features like single take, and while there is a pro mode for photos, it doesn't offer the same functionality as we get on smartphones. There's no pro mode for video. The 8-megapixel front camera has been placed on the right bezel this time as opposed to the top. The location has been chosen for landscape mode, the orientation that your tablet will be in when you make video calls. It certainly makes video calls feel more natural, and that too at a more flattering angle for you. The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus ships with Samsung's latest One UI 2.5 on top of Android 10. Many new features that we've seen this year like Quick Share and Music Share new software functionality to allow you to take full advantage of the tablet's large display. Samsung Notes has been overhauled for enhanced productivity. You can import PDF files for annotations, sync up voice recordings with written notes, and use auto-sync to keep everything up to date on notes for mobile, tablet and PC. More efficient PC-like folder management has also been introduced, so that it's easier to find the files that you need. Multi-active window, a feature that we first saw on the Galaxy Fold last year, now makes its way to Samsung's flagship tablet. You can open and use up to three apps simultaneously on the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, with the App Pair feature, allowing you to tie up to three apps and launch them at once. We found this to be very useful and a great way to utilize the 12.4-inch display. Edge Screen, a familiar feature for Galaxy smartphone owners, is present as well. The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus has features that allow it to thrive in a multi-device work setup. If you use select Samsung laptops, you can utilize the second screen feature to extend the laptop's display to the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Can't find a Wi-Fi network? Use the Auto Hotspot feature to automatically tether other Galaxy devices to the tablet. The S Pen has been improved considerably to provide a more lifelike experience. We like the new design as it makes the S Pen more comfortable to work with for extended usage. The latency has also been decreased, and that, coupled with a 120Hz refresh rate, allows for a more pen-to-paper feel. You do notice the difference as every tap and stroke when writing or drawing feels more fluid. The Air Actions feature has been expanded to cover frequently used actions like Home, Recent, Back, Smart Select and Screen Write. You can use these actions in any screen with the S Pen. There's support for new apps that you can use to be more creative with the S Pen. Clip Studio Paint, a drawing and sketching app, comes preloaded. It supports Air Action shortcuts as well. Note Shelf is a free download, and it lets you create as many virtual notebooks as you want. Canva is a very useful graphic design app that can be used to create graphics for social media posts in particular. Thousands of pre-made templates Samsung's DeX platform has come a long way since it was first introduced. Like its predecessor, the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus can also power a PC-like environment on the device itself or on an external monitor. While well, you could only do that with a wired connection previously, the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is the first Samsung tablet to support wireless DeX. Wireless DeX means that there's on less cable for you to carry. You could just walk into the conference room at work and lead the presentation on the big screen completely wirelessly. Granted, wireless DeX only works with select Samsung smart TVs and Mirrorcast-supported screens, but this is a step in the right direction. We do feel that this will entice more people to give DeX a try. Samsung's new tablet comes with a massive 10,090 mAh battery that supports 45W super-fast charging. Unfortunately, Samsung only ships a 15W charger in the box, so you'll have to buy one separately, and we'd recommend you do. Or you could just stick to a nightly ritual of plugging your Galaxy Tab S7 Plus in before going to bed, so that it's fully charged 7 Plus on a single charge. The Snapdragon chipset is fairly power efficient, and even though the 120Hz refresh rate draws more power, it doesn't impact battery life in any significant way. While we weren't able to test 5G on our unit, we're confident that the device's massive battery will hold up very well. This just my little test on Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. 
Well having been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching.